Okay, we are on a 2001 Bayliner 3988 and uh, what I'm replacing or what I replaced is a float switch, electronic float switch <clears throat> on a uh, Johnson pump. It's a sup, sump pump for uh, the shower. <clears throat> so there it is. Um, it's missing the float switch because I've already wired in a new one. This is uh, this is the electronic uh, float switch here. There's the uh, part number, but uh, and I'm gonna hand the uh, phone here. Just keep videotaping like that. So <clears throat> the old one wasn't working. This this pump just. It's got that little clip. It clips right beside the uh, the Johnson pump, and I'll film that. But it does have uh, a testing area here. It says to test, place fingers here. So if we touch these, it just activated the pump. So it looks like this one's working. This is the new one. Okay, and it's going to go basically. I've already. Uh, it's just two wires. A hot and uh, a common, and uh, and this guy just gets clipped in. It's got a little slot right there. Okay, uh, this is the cover that goes on top of the uh, the box. So as the, as you use the shower, that box fills up. That float switch should activate before that box gets full. This box is not sealed. So we were having water filling all the way up, pouring out from the uh, top of the box and into the bilge. So I'm going to put it back together now and hopefully we can take a shower because I'm sweaty. <laughs> okay. Cut. Hey, hey.